So I've created a basic web page here for you just to demonstrate this. There are two links. Now you might often see these in an email message. So you can see if we hover over the end of this uh, sentence, this is an actual link. That tooltip or that title, uh, rather than saying suspicious link one, just could say PayPal. So how do you tell if this is a suspicious link or not? So if you hover over the link, obviously it looks like it's going to take you to PayPal. You, if you look at the very bottom left of your browser, you will see the location that it's taking you to. So what some hackers can't hide is the actual domain address that you're linking to. So you can see at the bottom left of the page, it's got the location because this is on my PC. But if it was a website, it would just say www. And then you can see the last part of that uh, line uh, location. It says you will be hacked.html. So obviously that is not PayPal. It's quite obviously someone trying to take your details when you visit that page. So that's one way to identify that the link is suspicious. Another way to identify a link is suspicious is again, we have another message. These often come through um, emails as well. And it says, we try to deliver your parcel. Click here to schedule read delivery. Now this one is meant to be from Royal Mail. So if you again you hover over it, it says suspicious link too, but that just might say Royal Mail. And again, if we look at the bottom where it says the location or the actual address, you can see it does actually say Royal Mail. It says receiving mail, read delivery one, two, three. Now this could look quite authentic. So how do we know or how do we identify that this is a suspicious link? So another way to do this is if you actually open a browser, I'm using Google Chrome for this demonstration. If we go to your uh, browser and if you type in Royal Mail, uh, let's say read delivery, let's select that one. So we get the actual Royal Mail website. And if I click on this link for read delivery, So at the top, the actual address is royalmail.com forward slash receiving mail forward slash read delivery. So you can see this highlighted here, royalmail.com forward slash receiving mail forward slash read delivery. So we, if we compare this to the suspicious link on our suspicious website again if we hover over the link and never click on the link if you just hover over it because if you click on it it will take you to that suspicious website and it might you might download a virus or anything else or and please do not enter any information as they will steal that information from you and again so if we hover over the link and we can see when the location appears at the bottom of the browser, we can see it says rawmail.com forward slash receiving mail, which matches the actual Royal Mail website. So this is why it looks quite authentic. But the last part of that domain address says redelivery123. Now on the actual Royal Mail website, it was not redelivery123, it was just redelivery. So that is another way that they can try and make a link look authentic by slightly altering the domain address. So it looks authentic at a first initial glance. But if you pay enough detail to this, you can easily identify a suspicious link in an email or on a website. Bye bye.